Good evening. Welcome to the 2008 Tasmanian Premier League Soccer Show. My co-host is Jeremy Arnold, the sports editor at Wing Television. Our guest tonight is former Manchester United player and current South Hobart coach Ken Morton. I'm Walter Pless. This evening we'll have five games to watch and review. Tonight's first game is the North West Summer Cup Final between Devonport City and Somerset. Jeremy, do you have any questions for Ken? I guess, Ken, uh, you're a fan of taking your southern signs up, up north for, for pre-season hit-outs. Um, how did you find the competition uh, up in the north uh, west of the state? Um, it's interesting this year. We played Devonport in the uh, Launceston Cup and they were a, a solid team. They worked very hard and uh, they have quite a bit of experience with McKenna and Snowy Compey and still play. So I think they're a much improved side from the last couple of seasons. So I'll be looking forward to see how they shape up this year. And I guess uh, Somerset, the reigning uh, premiers from up north, uh, how, how, how did they play? In, uh, are they, are they the same side as uh, what they were last year? Somerset are a good side. They're a side that passed the ball around well. They've lost one of their key players, Ricky Eves. Ricky Eves has moved down south and, uh, with work commitments. And I think they'll miss him. He was a driving force in midfield. Ken, Devonport look as if they're going to be a real threat to the title this year based on this performance. I think so, I think they'll, they'll definitely be up there in the top uh, top two or three. Prospect Knights have improved also, they're a physical side uh, with some experienced players. Um, I think with Devonport it is, they need to keep McKenna fit, McKenna is a big, uh, big star there. Um, we've had a few players out injured and unavailable today. Probably should have been in front a bit more at half time. We've had to blood a lot of young un under 18s, and um, as you see from the game, they're struggling a little bit with the pace, but they'll get there by the end of the season and be ready for next year. Oh, mate, it felt a pre season game, you know, it was, it was nice to come away with a victory. I thought the boys worked hard, so it was a good result for us overall. We fought back for a 2 1 half time deficit to come away with a 3 2 victory. It's great in any game of soccer, so yeah, I'm really pleased. Devonport won that Summer Cup final 3-2. Now we move to the Launceston competition, the Steve Hudson Cup. Ken, you were intimately involved in this one, coaching South Hobart. Yes, the Hudson Cup's been a good preparation for South Hobart. Um, the games have been very varied. Uh, I was quite pleased with our performance in the final against Riverside. We knocked the ball around quite well, and we certainly got some good penetration in the front third. Yeah, it was um, a pretty busy summer cup schedule for you. Had your side playing, of course, the Southern League and the Northern League. Um, how the squad travel and how they um, prepare for each game in the cup? Quite well. Um, we've been happy. We've been training three and four times a week uh, in the build-up to these games, and we had good depth in our squad. So a lot of our players now have got good 90-minute runs into the lake. So it's been a good experience for. Them. Who are your standout players uh, up in the north of the state? Well, I think Billy Gasparatis has caught the eye and Johnny Lowe scored a few goals, putting in from the right-hand side. Um, and two young boys, Seth Otti and Greg Downs, we give them their debuts in the northern competition and they played really well and showed good composure. What is it about the north of the state, I guess, that um, attracts you to take your teams up there? It's the 90-minute halves, uh, the 90-minute games, the... Uh, Obviously the games are 90 minutes normally, but in the Summer Cup down here you're only played for 30 minutes and I don't see the, the true value of them for getting your players match fit for the start of the season. So we treat the Hudson Cup as our main preparation. That was a great goal there by Billy Gasparnato's king. He nutmegged the player near the corner flank and then hit it. Yeah, he shows some tremendous skills at times and then other times he looks a little bit sloppy, but he's a, certainly a, a talent. He's a little bit special at times and we're looking for big things for him this season. And your new recruit, Jai Davids, who scored that last goal there, he looked pretty good. Jai's uh, just arrived and from uh, Adelaide and I think we, we'll get he will get better as he develops with his fitness and fits in with the team. We'll now move to the Women's Southern Cup final. Women's soccer doesn't get as much publicity as, prob as it probably should, so let's have a look at this one and uh, see what people think about it. 
the teams here are Nelson, the real powerhouse of women's soccer in Tasmania, and University. Jeremy, what do you think of women's soccer? I think uh, the, the Matildas uh, and their progression uh, on the world stage, I guess, has uh, raised the profile of uh, women's soccer. But I think also the, the, the men's competition as well, the soccer is, of course, doing well in the World Cup. Um, and it's, it's good to see these girls. Uh, and I guess now with the, uh, the TIS um, programs that we have, uh, the game, or the women's game in the States, only going to get stronger. Ken, you've had a little bit to do with the TIS, the Tasmanian Institute of Sport Women's Program, and the men's program. What are your views? Yeah, I've had a little spell um, working with the TIS goalkeepers, and uh, it's been uh, very interesting. Um, obviously, they need a lot of work technically because they've not spent much time uh, working on the goalkeeping aspect. But I also spent time in Malaysia with the Malaysian women's national team. Um, as a technical director there and uh, it's not easy coaching the, the ladies but uh, I do think they're improving gradually now and as you just said the game's getting more publicity for them and the games are starting to improve. Uni were quite a forceful side in, in this game but uh, Nelson were just too strong overall for them. What do you think uh, can we need to do in the state to um, make sure we see more Tasmanian girls I guess uh, Putting on the, the materials jump on. Well, I think more programs like the TIS uh, and maybe our own local development programs need to be a lot, you know, a lot, a lot stronger. And uh, we need to identify the girls at a young age and uh, try and develop and bring them through. So Nelson won that one 5 2. They were expected to win. We now move to the Southern. Summer Cup final. Again, Ken, it's a team that you've been involved with, South Hobart, you're the coach. You won the Northern competition 4-0 and you went into this final against Tilford Zebras as the hot favourites. 